take a detailed look at our three instruments on the pitot-static system, and we'll start with the airspeed indicator. First, notice a series of color-coded arcs on the airspeed indicator's face. The white arc, green, yellow, and then this red line right over here. These are operating limitation ranges, or operating limits, of your airplane. Depending on what airplane you fly, these arcs and airspeeds will differ, but you will see these color-coded arcs on each and every airplane. Now the airspeed you read directly from the airspeed indicator is called the indicated airspeed. Airspeed that is corrected for installation and instrument error is called calibrated airspeed. The true airspeed of an airplane is calibrated airspeed corrected for variations in temperature and pressure. Now the true airspeed is used for flight planning purposes and will be discussed in greater detail in lesson 9. Now let's take a look at some airspeed limitations and we'll start with the white arc that you see right here. The white arc represents the flap operating range in your aircraft. At the bottom of the white arc is the airspeed limitation called VSO. Now the V stands for velocity or speed and in this case the S stands for stalling. Now the O stands for operation in a certain configuration and in this case that configuration is the lowest allowable airspeed with the flaps and the landing gear down or the landing configuration. Operation below this airspeed in the landing configuration will allow the airplane to stall. Now at the top of the white arc is the airspeed limitation called VFE. You can see that right here. Again, we know the V is for velocity, the F is for flaps, and E is for extension. Now this is the maximum speed at which flight is allowed with the flaps extended. Let's take a look at another one. Here is VS1. And in this case we know that V is for velocity again, S is for stall, but this is configuration one. This means that with the flaps up or in a clean configuration, if you fly below this airspeed with flaps up, the airplane will stall. Remember this, VS1 is the stalling speed in a clean configuration and VSO is the stalling speed in the landing configuration with the flaps and gear down. Now the green arc represents the normal operating range of the aircraft. At the top of the green arc is a speed called VNO. You can see that right here. That is really the highest allowable airspeed under most operating parameters. You may from time to time head into the yellow arc if the air is very smooth, but just like a street sign, remember that yellow means caution. Now if the air gets bumpy, reduce your speed to a speed within the green arc. Now the yellow arc represents something called the caution range. Operating at air speeds in this range requires caution and you should only fly at these speeds in smooth air. At the very top of the yellow arc is a red line, we call this red line VNE. Now the V again stands for velocity, N is for never, and E is for exceed, which means never exceed speeds above this red line. If you do, you risk the likelihood of structural damage to the airplane. Now there are also some airspeed limitations that are not marked on the airspeed indicator, but you need to know them just the same. First of all, VA is for maneuvering speed, and this is the speed at which full control deflections will not cause structural damage to the airplane. The airplane will stall before G-loads can cause damage. VA, or maneuvering speed, can be found by looking in the pilot's operating handbook for the particular airplane you're flying. Another airspeed limitation not depicted on the airspeed indicator is VLE, which is the maximum landing gear extension speed. This is the maximum speed you can safely lower the landing gear on an aircraft with retractable gear. Again, this speed is found in the pilot's operating handbook. Another speed is VX, and that's the best angle of climb speed. It provides the greatest altitude gain for a given distance. Finally, VY is the best rate of climb speed. It provides the greatest altitude gain for a given period of time. In this example, our airplane is rolling for departure. If you have an obstruction at the end of the runway, you need to make sure you can climb at VX, which is the best angle of climb speed. This airspeed allows the airplane to gain the greatest amount of altitude in a given distance. Once we've cleared the obstruction, we can transition to a speed of VY, which is the best rate of climb speed. This airspeed provides the most altitude gain over the least amount of time.